name is Jesse Lowe's. I teach seventh grade science in my, I guess, 11th year now. One of the things I'm most proud of is this project that's grown over the years, focusing on an experimental forest out in the coast range called Hyla Woods. We've been going there as a group of seventh grade scientists for the past um, nine years. Our mission when we go is to, to really determine how we as student scientists can um, determine whether an ecosystem is healthy. So they, they take on the role as researchers, uh, carrying out extensive scientific research that we've practiced in the classroom, taking it to the field over a series of two different uh, field trips. Our first field trip is really meant to collect some initial data, but also to um, place something that's called a leaf pack into the creek. And a leaf pack is basically a bundle of leaves um, in a mesh bag that we secure in place in the creek. Three weeks go by, hopefully the macroinvertebrates move in, um, and we, we return, and it's really cool to see the students at this point being a lot more practiced. And so they know how to collect all this, this research. They don't, they don't need the kind of guidance that they might have needed the first time. They get straight to work. Um, they collect their leaf packs. We go through a whole process of sifting and sorting and then identifying each of those different organisms. That data is collected and we go through what is a pretty important process of taking observations and turning it into numerical uh, quantifiable data. What I've always done with this program is I've always looked for folks who are willing and excited to collaborate with me. Um, to bring a different way of looking at the forest. And this year I was really excited to, to partner with uh, our digital media arts teacher, T, uh, who brought her own creativity into the program in terms of just bringing some photography and bringing some props into the forest that really beckoned the students to think about like, how do they fit into this forest? And I think having a non-science lens in the woods with us reminds us all, me too, that it's not just about being empirical scientists. It ultimately just boils down to making um, important scientific concepts and themes real and relevant and connected to the Pacific Northwest. Experiential ed is, is best achieved when it is connected to a place in a community.